Okay, I know in other videos I've said that using a DA can cause some damage. It can. Just uh, main thing to remember is uh, don't don't try to use it like a grinder like that or or some. This has got a real nice soft pad, so it helps. But uh, main thing is don't give it to the new guy. <laughs> Because he will cut all kinds of smiley faces into your parts. Anyway, on to 800. Gonna do this whole area so the sheen matches all the way across, and we won't have like a, a line. And we're going to a thousand after that, and then possibly. Curves are tricky like that. You can wear flat spots in it. And uh, uh, who knows? I might have. I don't know until we're done. Okay, we're done with the 800 grit. Let's go ahead and move on to the 1000. Get this thing done.
the end paper out of the way, and uh, I'll get the buffer out. Okay, getting ready to buff. Here's what I'm going to use. I don't know if you can see that. Flitz metal plastic and fiberglass polish. Kind of blue. Supposed to not have any abrasives or grit or anything like that, but it does polish nicely. I don't need a whole lot of it on here. We'll go ahead and start with this side. Gel coat is not like car paint. Okay, you can lean into it. That's why I don't buff cars, because I'm kind of heavy with a buffer. <laughs> Yeah, I figure five years out of a Harbor Freight buffer isn't too bad, especially as much as I use it. <laughs> 